Give me a hug. You're so cute. You're cute. You're cute. You're cute. You're cute. Pillow Talk! Hey guys, welcome back to Pillow Talk Monday. We are reading Lesbian Sex Scenes Part Dis. You guys loved the first time. And there's a lot more movies that we can talk about. So for part two, we are going to be rating the lesbian sex scenes you guys wanted us to rate. And what better sponsor to rate lesbian sex scenes than Beducated? Beducated is an online course platform that has super easy to follow audio, visual, and even written guides to help you upgrade and get better at your sex life. If you're a person that's never made a female orgasm in her entire life, then I suggest that you check out Beducated. Mm -hmm. They even have a female orgasm course. Every lesbian should have a PhD in female orgasm. You but need you know to what? learn all the tips and tricks. Some of us do not, and you can always get better. Some of us just graduated high school. And some of us are going into our post-doctorate. <laughs> So some of the subscription benefits include getting access to all of Beducated's online courses. There's over a hundred hours of video and audio content. Tips from world-renowned educators. There's new content every single week. And they have high quality streaming on all devices. Beducated is also offering a really great deal right now. You can access all of their content for one day for free. And you guys get 70% off of a yearly pass if you use our promo code unsolicited. The best part about the promo code is it is locked for life. So you guys probably want to start leveling up your love life. Sign up for $7.99 a month and get access to all of their courses. So make sure you guys check out the link in our description to join Beducated today. Uh, the first movie we're rating is Kiss Me. Kiss me. I think it's kiss me in... Mm -hmm. In English. German, Dutch, Swedish. Mia, Frida, Forbidden Love. Is as, there better sex as, than Forbidden as Love? As all <laughs> women engaged to men storylines <laughs> are so forbidden. Spoiler alert though, with a happy ending. So... We don't care about the ending. We here. don't. We just we care, care about, about the sex scene. So let's get into it. <laughs> One of the things I liked about this sex scene is they did a little bit of foreplay. This sex scene goes from like day and then it cuts to night and then it cuts to like day again and then I think it cuts again to night. So it's a really realistic like lesbian first time together. <laughs> 90 minutes of foreplay. Four days later. <laughs> we gotta rate it though. What are you rating this sex scene? Okay, which sex scene? We'll do the first yeah, one. Yeah, their first, there's two sex scenes. I th I'm gonna the second rate, one's better, I'm gonna, rate I'm the, gonna say. Then we're gonna rate the second one. We'll rate the second one. It's better. I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10. It's forbidden love. Wow. I'm a high rater. I know this is a new video, but there's also the sex scenes from the last one. I've like, wiped I don't know what you clean. gave, like you probably only gave Carol an eight. You're giving this a seven. <laughs> I am going to rate this sex scene a 4 out of 10. My days of mercy. My day of mercy. No, it's my days of mercy. <laughs> One of the girls is named Mercy, right? I don't even remember. <laughs> this is a movie. We saw this movie a few years ago. Yeah. We rewatched just the sex scene so it was fresh in our yeah. minds. But we were like, what the hell is going on in this movie again? <laughs> Elliot Page, Kate Mara. It's a movie about Death Row. It's not real, like, why would lesbians be in this? But they are. And also, why there was a lesbian sex scene in this, um, it's not really the movie you go to, to see a lesbian sex scene. It's not just scene. a sex scene, there's a full lesbian relationship. It's mm -hmm. like Romeo and Juliet, but on death row. You know, this is also not a movie you would watch on a date. I think it's really good. It's one shot. Mm -hmm. And it's, the camera's kind of set up like you're peering in, like you shouldn't be there. It's a really fly on the wall sexy. It is. It also makes a difference when Elliot Page, who has slept with many a lesbians, knows mm -hmm. what they're doing. The scene starts and we jump right into it and you're like, oh, Kate Mara is the top? Hmm, wouldn't have thought that. 30 no. seconds in, that changes real quick. I don't even think it's 30 seconds. <laughs> Maybe 10 seconds. More like 10 seconds. 9.8. I think I rated it higher than Ammonite, which Ammonite is better, but for this video, it's a 9.8, okay? It's not even that great. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder if you've had sex. <laughs> also, I didn't realize we could do half scores. That's... You're scoring it like figure skating now. Yeah, that was. <laughs> for complexity. I'm a French judge, 9.8. <laughs> um, I'm gonna rate this scene a five. 
It's a little, we're getting what? we're getting better than the last movie. You're thinking it's only one point better than the last movie? And there's like Excuse a door me. frame. A lot happens. A lot happens. Uh, Don't know who suggested it. Room in Rome. Room in Rome, you guys. When did this come out? This we watched this also a long ago. time ago. Awkward movie to watch. Going back to it, I thought they had sex more. They're just naked the whole time. Yes. <laughs> we were scrubbing through and not a ton of, a lot of sex. Why, how if, these two ended up in a room together, we do not remember. <laughs> They're, they're, it's two strangers. This Ordering room service naked. Everything naked. <laughs> when I'm in a hotel room, I don't even get naked. I get naked to get in the shower and then I immediately put clothes on. They do a lot of stuff in the sex scene. Mm -hmm. I'm like replaying it in my mm -hmm. mind, don't remember. But they do show you pretty much everything. Wow, very scary music is playing over top. Room in Rome is also starring the two singers from the band <laughs> Tattoo. They look just like them. Also, I've been to Rome and this did not happen to me. So I'm gonna say it's pretty unrealistic. One for realism, <laughs> six out of 10 for the sex scene. Am I rating it also a six out of 10? We agree. We agree. Um, you rated it higher than the last two? <laughs> because even though this one maybe like shows a bit more, I feel like you go into it thinking like you're gonna watch below her mouth. And so I think it's a little disappointing. Saving face. Ooh. One of my favorite movies, and it was one of the first lesbian oh, yeah. movies I watched when I was a young, a little baby dyke. We're not rating the movies, but this is one of the best movies. So sex scene. It's a small one, it's short. It's birthday sex, is it birthday not? Birthday sex. A nervous closeted lesbian having sex is one of my favorite things to watch. <laughs> Again, another more realistic sex scene because the phone rings in the middle and you get like some comedic relief. How many times does your mom call though when you're having sex with a woman? It's too many times. I'm sure everyone's like, yep, that's happened to me. <laughs> My mom really knows when to call. Mm -hmm. Text, mm -hmm. bang on your door. <laughs> the sex scene is like, it's like mostly just foreplay. They don't really yeah. get into mm -hmm. it. What would you rate it then? Five out of 10. Wow, generous. Well, just cause you don't see a lot. Oh, you're saying it's generous. Yes. You're like, I'm giving it a one. <laughs> I am giving it a two out of 10. Cause the sex scene is more about Will finding out that Vivian has told like her mom about her. And Will's very closeted. Mm -hmm. Her mom doesn't know anything. Yeah. So she's like, you tell your mom? And our final film. Miss Education of Cameron Post. I don't know why I like movies about conversion therapy so much. <laughs> I love Bud My Cheerleader. Uh -huh. I love Miseducation of Cameron Post. Maybe it's because it's made by gay people and they're just like, let's show you how ridiculous, outdated, <laughs> and should be illegal this is. So this movie has prom sex in it. There's prom sex, and then there's conversion <laughs> therapy camp sex. So those are on opposite yeah. sides of the spectrum. There's the prom sex that everyone wants to uh -huh. have, and then the conversion therapy sex that I guess everyone wants to have, but they're really <laughs> Opposite. Prom sex scene is in the back of the car. As, car sex is our as, first car sex scene. Yeah. That's where teenagers do it. They don't have a home <laughs> they can go to. And Cameron's a bottom, which honestly I find pretty unbelievable. <laughs> Especially when it's Chloe Grace Martez playing her. That girl is yeah. a top. Opposite yes. of Mount Everest. <laughs> She's the top. <laughs> Opposite of a Harley Davidson motorcycle, she's the top. <laughs> the worst part of the car sex scene is that they get caught. Otherwise, it's almost a 10 out of 10 for 10 me. 10 out of 10! <laughs> it's also two girls, I think, having sex for the first time. We're rating car sex. We are not rating conversion camp sex. Cause that's, that was a, also, that's a zero every time. That was also, I think, a one, both of them are one shot scenes though. 9.5. Okay, I'm gonna rate this a four out of 10. We <laughs> didn't give anything higher than a five. <laughs> How can you compare Miseducation of Cameron Post to Ammonite? Ammonite is a sex you have, scene. <laughs> because they're children, Sarah. <laughs> For high school prom sex scene, it's a 10. Okay. What would you guys rate these sex scenes? If you want to see more, we also did a part one. So go check it out. Yeah. I rated the sex scenes much higher in part one. <laughs> I was feeling generous today. That's fair. Thank you again to Beducated for sponsoring this week's video. And thank you to everyone who's still watching us. Some people have left comments and they're like, I used to watch you guys when 
I was 13, I just came out, now I'm 70. And like, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you guys for watching Pillow Talk Monday. We'll see you next Monday. Bye.